All right, I'm going to go over how to create a polygon animal. And I'll give you several templates to choose from. And what we're going to do, we're going to use the pen tool to create the animals that I've given you to work on. So I've already pulled over my colors from um, the Adobe Color Wheel. And because I chose the sperm whale here, I've chose these blue colors. And I'm just going to draw in the tail to show you how this works and then show you the finished illustration. So you want to go to the pen tool, click on that. We're going to have our fill. We're going to set it to none for now. We're going to have our stroke, which is a color different than black, so we can see as we draw over. And we're just going to try and draw these polygons. So pen tool, and just click Make sure I'm on the right layer. So there's one polygon. So if I want to start drawing from the other one, I need to hold down the shift button. So you see that star. Here you see a minus. If I click on it again, it's going to take that point away. So I'm going to hold down the shift button. And now I can start from that point again. Let go of the shift button. And there's my second triangle. Hold down the shift button. Click once. Let go of the shift button. And the other way to do it is just go away from the already existing points. And you can draw without having to worry about closing your lines. So now, in this case, I have to hold down the shift button because I don't have a choice. I've got to start somewhere that's already drawn. So hold down the shift button, let go of it. The whole point of this is to just get you comfortable with the pen tool. So here we go. We hold down the shift button. Click once, let go. And I'm going to do my last one. And then I'm going to color them in. So there are all my polygons. And I've already created my color schemes, which you guys know how to do by creating a folder with your new colors. So go to your selection tool, select. Make your stroke nothing. Bring the foreground to the front and then just start filling in with color. So every time I hit this, it's going to show the stroke. So I got to bring it forward, delete it, and then fill it with a color. already completed the rest of the whale. It's on another layer. I'll show you what that looks like. And make sure your colors are you know opposing or there's contrast between the colors you choose. And that's our last point for now. Fill that with uh, this dark gray. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to turn on the layer below that I already worked on. And that's what your whale should look like. So that's the assignment.